The next Wizard King will be either Nozel or Fuegolian, confirmed by Yuki Tabata, the author of Black Clover. Fuegolian and Nozel will receive a new transformation this arc. Will Fuegolian be able to use the Spirit Dive? And will Nozel transform into the male equivalent of the Valkyrie dress? The Berserker suit? Today we explain why this is most likely to happen. Black Clover, the next Wizard King, here in Yunami. The reason we believe Furelion and Nozel would both receive a power-up is obvious. We saw Yuno's full spirit dive, spirit of Boreas, Charlotte red and blue roses, Jack's transformation, Mary Leona's hellfire incarnate, Asta and Libe's devil union mode, Black Guardian, Noel's mermaid form, and even the dark triad devil mode of 100%. This arc in particular is the arc of power-ups. We see the result of six months of training and the emotional impact of the Spade War. Everyone is getting stronger and here we have Fuelion Vermilion and Nozzle Silver who did not show any power-ups so far. Both who want to be the next Wizard King and as it stands right now it is unavoidable that if the kingdom survives the next Wizard King will be chosen soon. What will happen to the Clover Kingdom and the whole world after this arc will soon be covered in a separate video where we talk about the new world in Black Clover? After all, the devils have appeared. Subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. You must also activate the notification bell, otherwise YouTube will not notify you about any of our new videos. Like the video if you enjoy our content. With your support, we can reach a wider audience and thus create more and better content. Humans cannot stop the creation of the tree is obvious. Of course, this will be only the case if Black Clover is not cancelled so that drastic changes will occur and Tabata is forced to end the series. Long story short, let's talk about Fugelion's Spirit Dive. To understand why Fugelion will be able to use the Spirit Dive, we must first understand the Spirit Dive itself. What is Spirit Dive? The user assimilates an elemental spirit into his body by containing and controlling the power of the spirit, thereby dramatically increasing his own magical power and mana capacity. In addition to the spirit, the user must also have a lot of experience in controlling mana and be able to use mana skin. The Vermilion family, especially those in the Crimson Lions, are better than anyone in using mana skin as they specialize in it as it's their typical training routine. So Fugelion has everything he needs to use a spirit dive and I don't see any reason why Fugelion shouldn't use it. Some say that if Fugelion uses the Spirit Dive, then it's a stolen concept from Yuno. But it is not that this transformation was invented by Yuno and is limited to Yuno only. Yuno only discovered that one can transform with the help of a spirit, but that ability is simply part of the spirit and not the human. If someone else has been chosen by the Wind Spirit itself, they could perform the same transformation if they discovered this possibility. To say Fugelion shouldn't do the Spirit Dive because it's Juno's transformation. It's like saying no one else should use Mana Zone because we saw Mary Leona using the Mana Zone first. The Spirit Dive is something that someone who has a spirit will discover for themselves at a certain point in time with the right training and the feeling for Mana. Fugelion has certainly tried to train his skills with the Fire Spirit Salamander. At some point, someone as experienced as Fugelion must have discovered that there is an opportunity to assimilate the spirit and why shouldn't he use just because he knows that Yuno can use this ability too. But enough about how and why Fugelion will be using the spirit dive, let's talk about what the spirit dive fire salamander mode will be like. We have two options how we are gonna see Fugelion's spirit dive. Number one, it's going to be like Yuno's half spirit dive which I honestly doubt since Fugelion is very experienced. 
Number two, it is going to be a full spirit dive, which I think makes more sense for someone who wants to be the Wizard King. The story is just too advanced to give him half the transformation. Of course, it should be mentioned that Juno's spirit dive has a lot to do with the development of self. It is like Julius Noah Cronos said, the spirit in its power will grow together with the user when he told this to Juno. So, there is a close connection between the story strength of the person and the development of the spirit. How strong Fugelion has gotten in the last six months and how much his salamander has developed is not clear. Fugelion will most likely have salamander wings and some sort of helmet or crown just like you know. And I think it would fit very nicely if he got the same facial marks on his eyes as the salamander. Well, there is not much to say about the power. He will most likely be able to use fire spirit blood last just like you know and he will have an overall increase in physical and magical abilities what do you think forelion will have a spirit dive transformation let us know in the comments and make sure you smack the like button now let's talk about nozel silva the rival of forgolian and one of the future wizard king candidates without hating too much on nozel but for someone who wants to become the wizard king and want to compete with forgolian he hasn't really had much development in terms of strength throughout the series. It even looks like Noelle surpassed him in the elf arc when she transformed into her Valkyrie dress. Of course, Nozelle did not expect to be hit by an attack and was just about to apologize for his mistakes to Noelle. But still, to see how easy Noelle could handle the fight on her own while the whole Silver family could not do anything together, it seems that Nozelle isn't as strong as many believe. After that, Noelle had 6 months of training and learned the mermaid mode and most likely also the mana method. There is a possibility that Noelle received the water spirit and even learned the ultimate magic. We published a video about it yesterday, feel free to watch it after finishing this video. How can Noelle call him a big brother? and future wizard king when he can't even compete against his little sister and rival, let alone all the other characters in this saga who have already experienced the power-ups. Continuing to keep Nozel on the same level does not do him justice and does not make him powerful enough to realistically depict the rivalry with Regolian and his dream of becoming the wizard king. To rebalance, Nozel needs a drastic power-up that may even make him stronger than anyone else. In an interview, Yuki Tabata clearly stated that either Nozel or Fregolian will become the next Wizard King, which means both of them will have to outperform most captains. We have already explained that Fregolian has the potential to become stronger, but what about Nozel? Nozel is a royal, his mana potential is insane and his mana control is perfect. He has everything a magic knight needs to become stronger but he does not seem to be able to push his own limits. He was always blind by his royal status and never seemed like he trained a lot. But recently, seeing Noel grow so strong changed his attitude. He also saw how Asta and Yuno got stronger while Fuegolin received the Fire Salamander. If Nozel really wants a realistic chance of becoming the next Wizard King, he has no choice but to train. Due to the similar form of Noel and Aesir Silver, it is very likely that Nozel can also have a similar form. Nozel has no spirit or any other special attribute that can suddenly make him stronger. All he can do is transform like Noel and Aesir. A perfect transformation would be the Valkyrie dress, but Valkyrie is a female term. The male equivalent is Berserker and a good equivalent for a dress might be a suit. So, a berserker suit would be an amazing name for Nozel's new transformation. So, who will be the next Wizard King? Will it be Fuegolin or Nozel? Or maybe really Yami? In our opinion, we don't think Yami will have any interest in becoming the Wizard King. Even if he is strong enough, he couldn't show any result with his squad before Asta joined. So, if anyone deserves the reputation of the new Black Bulls, it's Asta. Besides, he can hardly lead his own squad. How could he rule over an entire country military? Not to mention that he would be the last one to take that position. He is too lazy and not motivated. Loves to spend his free time in the bath or gambling. 
Yami is just not interested in the position of the Wizard King. That said, it can only be for Golan or Nazelle. Both are captains of successful squads, both are very strong and have a great potential. Both show interest in protecting their kingdom and its citizens. Fuigolin though is showing more empathy for citizens of all social classes and striving for equality. But Nozel is slowly showing his true personality and good intentions. Basically, Nozel has always been like Fuigolin, but has not shown it publicly. And his true personality has been masked due to his behavior towards his sister Noel. Both are highly respected by the public and both are rivals. There's only one way rivals can decide who wins. If the Clover Kingdom survives and the devils don't take over the entire continent, then we believe there will be a showdown battle to answer the question of who will become the next Wizard King. A fight between Fuegol and Vermilion and Nozel Silver. Who do you think will be the next Wizard King? Fuegol or Nozel? Or will it be someone else? Maybe really Yami? Let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you are new. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because otherwise YouTube will not notify you if we publish a new video. Thank you again and see you tomorrow. Bye.